Question 11. Excuse me. Speedboat is uh, 100 kilometers west of a trawler. So, speedboat being uh, here. Also, speedboat being S. Trawler being a T. Okay, there you go. The trawler is traveling south at 8 kilometers an hour. So, trawler going down at 8. Okay. And the speedboat is traveling at 20 kilometers per hour in a direction 30 degrees south of east. So 30 degrees south of east means that it's coming down at this angle here. 30 degrees south of east, which is that 30 degrees there. And it's going at 20. Okay. Find the velocity of the speedboat relative to the trawler, its magnitude and its direction. Okay. So velocity of speedboat relative to the trawler. What does that mean? VTS or VST? VST. The second letter is always the letter, it's, it's always whose opinion is, relative to the trawler. The trawler thinks I'm going this fast. Trawler is the second speed. Okay? So now you do, anybody tell me the next line for maybe five marks? Whoa. Okay, we're really getting stressed out there now. Uh, VT, guys, minus HJ. Uh, VS, we're going to work out. As uh, 20 cos 30 in this direction and 20 sine 30 going that direction there. So, anyway, 20 cos 30. Ten root three. Okay, good man. So, velocity speedboat, 10 root 3i, and then minus. Sorry? 10j. Okay, now that's 10j, okay. That's our VST now. So VST is going to be our, it's going to be 10 root 3i minus 10j minus another 8j, which is going to be, VST is going to be uh, 10 root 3i minus 18j. Okay. Now, yes? It does, sorry, you're right, that's a plus. Good call. Sorry guys, minus minus makes a plus, which makes it minus uh, 2j. Lads. Now, what we have here guys is we have, uh, this is our relative velocity here, and we're asked to find its uh, <coughs> speed and its magnitude. Now, this question is sort of uh, spelled out for you. Okay, but these these are always the steps, whether it's spelled out for you in three parts or not. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find out it, the speed of it relative to each other. So that means that we have Pythagoras' theorem here, we have 10 root 3 this way, we've got 2 that way, we're going to get a, we're going to square that, I'm going to add it to 4, or 2 squared, I'm going to square the answer. 4 root 19, otherwise known as 17.43, uh, so 4 root 19, I like surge, surge are better, more accurate, 4 root 19. This means it's going 4 root 19 relative to each other, okay? And we have to find the direction, so tan A, anybody? 2 divided by 10 root 3, okay? 2 divided by 10 root 3, so put that in and tan inverse it. Tan inverse uh, 2 divided by 10 root 3. Anybody get that yet? No. Okay. So what we get here? Uh, we're looking at uh, an angle of... Okay, very, very... That's sort of expected though, isn't it? A really, really narrow angle. Because of look at the... Uh, it's going really... It's going like in the order of... Uh, was be about 17 across 2 up. It's going to be a really sharp angle. So let's call it a 6.59. 6.59 degrees, okay? Now, find the nearest the two boats get to each other. Let me explain what's going on here. I'm going to get rid of all this for a minute. When you do a relative velocity, guys, what happens 
I'm just going to move this back here for a second. What happens when you do a relative velocity? What's, what's going on? What, what happens to the second letter? Second letter, you're fixing to the spot. It's now stuck to the spot. Okay? Now you experience, although the trawler is still moving, what you're now experiencing is what does a person on the trawler see the speedboat do as if I was stationary? Okay? To bring it back to really simple terms, if I was traveling down at 8 and somebody else is traveling down at 10, if I, if, I, if I fix myself to the spot, I will see this person travel down at 2. If I fix the other person to the spot, what will happen then? I see the other person travel up with 2 because my gap is increasing 2 every second. So that's, that's a really basic way of viewing what we've just done. So what we've now done is we understand that this S, S is now traveling relative to T. It's now traveling at a really sharp angle. The angle we're traveling at is 6.59 degrees. What can you tell me about the closest approach? Perpendicular to the line of relative velocity, right? Makes that 90 degrees. Okay. This is our closest distance D. Can anybody tell me what the length ST is? 100 kilometers. Still wants it in kilometers, I suppose. Can anybody tell me how to find D? D is the opposite side. 100 is D. Hypotenuse. Sine 6.59 equals D over 100. D equals 100 sine. 6.59, which is going to be, anybody? Somebody give me a D value. Sorry? 11.48 kilometers. Now, question is, uh, done. The distance between two boats, the boats two hours before they are closest to one another. Two hours before they're closest to one another. Now that's an interesting one, okay? So here's what we're going to do. The distance between the two boats, two hours before they're closest to one another. That's a, that's a tricky question, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark this as my starting point. Is everybody happy with that being the starting point? Okay, that's the starting point because it's a... Uh, what's that word? It's a... Uh, It's the closest uh, it's the closest approach. What I'm also gonna do while I'm here is I'm gonna find out what is this distance here. I don't even know if I need it yet. I just want to make sure I have it before I, uh, before I do anything else. See this distance here? I want that distance. Anyone in the class hey, tell me how to find that distance? Yeah, it's like cos 6.59 is equal to, uh, we'll call it x, uh, x over 100. Cross multiply up to 100 to get 100 cos 6.59. What is 100 cos 6.59? 99. Okay, perfect, thank you. 99.34 in this direction here. Now, guys, what do we say our speed is relative? What do we say our speed is? How fast are we traveling this? Four routes? 19. So can anybody in the class do me a favor here, okay? What I want us to do is, I want to see how long it takes me to go from here to here. So then I can start tracking back two hours. I don't know if I'm gonna go further on or I'm gonna get jammed halfway here going backwards. So here's what I want you to do. 99.34 divided by four root 19. What do we get? What is it? 5.7. So guys, this is really good information. 5.7 hours. So 5.7 hours, okay, is how is how uh, is how long it takes you to go from here to here. So if we go back two hours, how many hours have we been traveling? We've been traveling 3.7 to this point here. So what I can do is I can construct a new triangle. Uh, can somebody multiply uh, 4 root 19 by 3.7 for me? I'll construct my new triangle here for you. Shh. Uh, kill you. Kill you. Okay. 
that's 100. And we're just after agreeing that we now, we're now doing 3 points. What is it? Yeah, we're now doing 3.7 hours worth of traveling. Get it. Three point seven multiplied by four root nineteen. Anybody know what three point seven multiplied by four root nineteen is? Sixty-four point five one. Okay. And now your whole goal is to find out what is your current distance from your new value where your S is now after three point seven hours. How close is that to T? We know that that's six point five nine. Anybody suggest a rule from Trigon Arm Geo News? Uh, I'll go with the cosine rule because you have two sides and the angle sandwiched yeah. in between them. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Another way of doing it. I like it. Either way, we're getting the answer right. So, x squared equals 100 squared plus 64.51, is it? Squared minus 2 times... Uh, 64.51 times 100. Somebody get this done in the calculator quickly for me. Cost 6.59. Somebody give me the answer. So that's 35.67 kilometers. I'll pause.